Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who rule well. Salutations to you, Akim, out there pushing and laboring in the name of Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. To you, I say Shalom. Also to the one third hopeful elect, the Akwath out there listening and learning, and the scattered Israelites among these heathen nations that look just like these heathen nations, but go back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. To you, I say Shalom. This is the brother Yashar with another video, another lesson. Um, I'm going to title this video, the, the Wisdom of a Poor Man is Despised. Or something around that, that um, you know, in, in that uh, area. But I'm going to start off with this in Ecclesiastes, right? Because wisdom is very important. Wisdom is what differentiates uh, us Israelites from these other nations, man. You know, and, and wisdom is, is looked down on. People underestimate wisdom, man. You know, you might be in a situation where brute, brute strength is not going to save you, man. You might need to, you know, smooth, uh, smooth talk somebody, right? Using their their wants and desires like, yo, I got this, you know, and I got that. And, and if you let me go, you know, you can have it. Instead of trying to go straight up fisticuffs with somebody, it, that might not work out, man. You know, uh, the scriptures say, um, uh, uh, I can't, I don't want to butcher it, but basically in verbatim, uh, uh, smooth words turn away wrath, man, you know, but I'm gonna read, this is Ecclesiastes, Ecclesiastes chapter nine, verse 13. It says, this wisdom have I seen also under the sun and it seemed great unto me. There was a little city and few men within it. And there came a great king against it and besieged it and built great bulwarks against it. Verse 15. Now there was found in it a poor wise man, and he, by his wisdom, delivered the city. Yet no man remembered that same poor man. Right. This one poor man, right, delivered this 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 entire city, you know, which only had a few men in it. Right. Delivered it out of the hand of this great king, man. You know. That built great bulwarks against it. Could you imagine? You, you know, we have to really envision these these scriptures, man, because everything in this in this book is 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 true. You know, it happened. It was real, man. You know, imagine just a small little town, right? Maybe got uh, a few walls around it. You know, maybe like a hundred, two hundred men. You know, arrest women and children, and then you have this great king, right? With, with thousands of soldiers, horses and chariots, right? Besiege this place, man. Start they, they, They're tearing down trees, you know, to build ladders, to, to uh, you know, scale the walls. You know, they're doing everything uh, in uh, that you do during a siege in order to take this city, man. But this poor man, right, who was wise, used his wisdom and, and delivered that city, man. And put to flight those 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 soldiers. You know, hey, uh, 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 all brawn, no brains could not do that, man. And he would have got, you know, chopped up with the rest of them. You know, verse 16, it says, then said, I wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised. Right. And his words are not heard. And, and that's exactly what's going on right now, man, with the. Uh, with with the Akim out there on the highways and byways, right? The men of the Lord prophesying, bringing out this truth, man, precept upon precept. But that wisdom is despised. Why? Because, hey, our people are walking in gross darkness, man. And they like, they like the darkness, you know? Only a fool likes walking in the dark, man. You can't see anything. So, we have to understand that wisdom is 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 better than strength, man. Right? That's gonna line up with my next precept. Uh, this is 
2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3, it says, For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. Right. You don't see uh, the men of the Lord on, on the highways and byways like, yo, step up. We, gonna, we can drop anybody in, in, in 10 punches. Like, no, we're not fighting in the flesh, man. We're fighting in the spirit, man. Right. Verse four, it says, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through the most high to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations and every high thing that exalted itself, exalted itself against the knowledge of the most high and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Hamashiach. Exactly, man. To the casting down, um, uh, casting down imaginations and every high thing, man. You know, what, what what's a high thing in this world, man? Caesar Borger. You know, these Edomites uh, push this image and, 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 and use the Holy Scriptures to, to forward their agenda, man. You know, white supremacy. So we have. Uh, we have completely destroyed that image, man. And, and we're still destroying that image. You got people out here and they don't know what to think, man. Yeah, they hear the scriptures, you know, and they hear what, what they hear in the world. And they're like, yo, you know, this I've never heard this before. You know, that's because, hey, they don't want you to know it, man. You know, they don't want that's wisdom. That's knowledge. Knowing that uh, uh, the son of the most high is, is a, a dark skinned man. An austere man, right? He's not coming back with hugs. He's not coming back with kisses, you know? He's coming back with, with the chariots of, of Israel, man, in his glory, you know? And, and we're letting people know that, man, you know? That there's not little green men, you know, in the skies uh, uh, coming from Mars to invade the planet and, and, and you know, steal all, ba steal all the babies and, and take our resources, what they're going to do is they're going to they're going to uh, come back and destroy first and foremost, two thirds of our people for being wicked. And and also, you know, you 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 Edomites, man, because you're in power right now and you're destroying the earth. You're destroying the earth and you, you're you're destroying uh, the Lord's chosen people, man. You know. But, hey, it says the weapons of our warfare and our carnal, man, we use these scriptures, man, you know. We use the word of the Lord. Hey, Hebrews 4 and 12 says the word of the Lord is, is, is quick and powerful, man, and sharper than any two edged sword. So, the, hey, that's our weapon. You know, we, all we have to do is speak the words of the Lord, man. Why? Because, hey, the Lord is not uh, slack to his promise, man. You know, the Lord said that he was going to rise us up in the last days. He was going to uh, um, deliver us from our enemies. You know, deliver us and put us in our own land, man. That's Baruch the second chapter, you know, because we were stiff neck. We would turn from our stiff neck and, and, and seek the Lord, man. We were uh, in the land of our captivity. We will remember ourselves, you know. So this wisdom that the, the most high has given us is, is better than anything that we could ever receive, man. You know, this is a. Uh, uh, Ecclesiastes, the seventh chapter, verse 11, it says, Wisdom is good with an inheritance, and by it there is profit to them that see the sun. For wisdom is a defense, and money is a defense. But the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it. Exactly, man. You know, wisdom is the defense. It says, and money is a defense. But with money, you know, you can only be defended for so long. The scriptures say, Riches profited nothing in the day of destruction, man. What what can you what can you do with with a pile of gold, right? When everybody's out there starving, man. There's no food. You're not you can't eat that gold. You can't eat money. You know. Well, you use money to trade for the things that you need, man. Right. But wisdom, hey, what 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 can wisdom do? You know, first and foremost, you know, the, uh, the name of the Lord, you know, you know, you how about Shimei Shai, if you're a uh, part of the elect number of Israel, you know, which we pray to be. But, hey, with wisdom, hey, you, you, you learn how to farm. You can, uh, you know, uh, uh, get yourself out of certain situations, you know, not to walk down this path. If, if there's a ditch at the end of it, you know, 
But what? A fool will continue to walk, man. So, oh, no, I'm not going to fall down this hole. I got it. But wisdom is a defense, man. You know? And it says, the excellency of knowledge is that wisdom giveth life to them that have it, man. And that's so true. Because we know... Uh, this, we know we, we know the dietary law, you know, we, we know that uh, we're not supposed to make cuttings in our flesh. We know that we're um, we're not supposed to. Um, what's another one? Uh, uh, we're not supposed to have sex on the Sabbath day, man. You know, we, we we're supposed to we're supposed to keep the uh, Shabbat holy, you know, and, and all that is wisdom. And, and that makes our life uh, better, man. You know, because, hey, when you don't eat abominations, you, you don't you don't feel sick. You don't feel sick, man. You know. You uh, uh, Israelites out there eating shrimp and lobster, you know, and, and all these different abominations, swine. Hey, man, you, you feel sick as hell afterwards, man. It's because it's not good for you, man. It's not right. You know. But but once you when, when you eat what? Uh, lamb, you know, beef, right? Uh, uh, whatever fish you like, salmon, coat, you know, perch, whiting. You got all these different, uh, you know, lawful foods that you can eat. But but you still want to eat shrimp. You still want to eat catfish, man. You know, and fucking eels. And frog legs. And crocodile. You know, <laughs> hey, man, Jake out there eating all these abominations man and, and that's not going to prolong your life you know so um verse uh ecclesiastes 7 and 19 it says wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than 10 mighty men which are in the city and that's heavy man it says wisdom strengtheneth the wise more than 10 mighty men which are in the city man you know because what? Well, when you gain wisdom and you and, and you have knowledge, you know that hey, you walk different, man. You talk different, you know. And it says it's it's more than ten mighty men in the city. Hey, ten dudes in the city. Hey, <laughs> you know, they probably run shit, you know. But at the end of the day, they can't they can't deliver you from from being sieged by a great king. So, a hey, wisdom is is above all, man. You know. Let's grab this. This is a uh, Proverbs, chapter eight, verse eleven. It says, "For wisdom is better than rubies, and all the things that may be desired are not to com to be compared to it." Exactly, man. R wisdom is better than rubies, man. You know, and rubies are a very precious um, gem. Uh, rubies are Pretty much, I wouldn't say on the same level as gold, but, you know, there's different precious stones like emeralds, topaz, you know. I, I wouldn't even say diamonds because diamonds are, you know, a, a, an abundant um, gem. But there's all, you know, all kind of different gems out there, man. But rubies are very precious, man. It says wisdom is better than rubies, you know. And all things that may be desired are not to be compared to it. Why? Because, hey, everything is vanity, man. Everything we do in this world is vanity, man. It's vain, you know? Whether it be whatever you eat, you know, whatever you watch, you know? The only the only thing that really gives you fulfillment is serving the Lord, man. And, and, and serving him in truth and sincerity, you know? Because, hey, man, even sex, man, is vanity. Because nowadays... You know, all, all you uh, all you really do is, is do it for pleasure. You know, we're not uh, really trying to have kids in this captivity, man. You know, and if you do have more, uh, multiple kids in this captivity, you know, and you're a part of this truth and, and Lord willing, a part of the elect, you know, let the, the Lord have mercy on your household. But hey, man, having kids in this society is, is, a, is a bad idea, man, you know. But at the end of the day, that is, that's all vain, you know, because if you're not doing it to, to, to procreate, it's vanity, man. 
there's no true fulfillment, you know. But 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 when you have, um, when you when you do have children, you get to watch them grow, you know. We're gonna be able to watch our children grow in the kingdom, man. We're gonna be able to play with them and laugh, you know, have fun. You can't do that in this place, man. What you 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 get to uh, see them. And, and and maybe be with them for a couple hours every other day cuz you're always at work and, and you get you get the worst part part of uh you know them growing up when they're uh you know newborns all they do is cry and and, and you know defecate you can't even really enjoy the stages of, of their childhood because what you have to send them to be indoctrinated by this damn devil you know, and let's not forget the vaccinations, you know. So we can't even enjoy our children in this place, man. It's <laughs> going in right now, but, um, you know, I'm gonna grab, you know, these last couple precepts. This is a uh, wisdom, uh, not wisdom. Proverbs chapter four, verse five, it says, uh, Salak, I'm gonna start up. Yeah. I'll read for it says he taught me also and said unto me, let thine heart retain my words, keep my commandments and live, get wisdom, get understanding, forget it not, neither decline from the words of my mouth, forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee, love her and she shall keep thee. Exactly, man. This wisdom will keep you, man. You know, that's why the scriptures uh, is called the comforter, man. When you read in the scriptures. You know, you 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 and uh, Isaiah, you know, and you jump to uh, Psalms, you know, jump back to the New Testament, right? And you, and you reading all of these comforting words that the Lord is with us. He's watching, you know. He's he's saying, "Wait on me until I rise up against the prey." You know, all you have to do is have patience and and faith in my name. You know, that's what we that's what we we have faith in how about Shimmy out shy, man. We we are patiently waiting for that salvation. Yeah, it's hard, man. But hey, that's why we have to stay in the scriptures, man. When we when you when your back's against the wall, man, you hop in them scriptures, man. Hey, even before your back's against the wall. You know, because why? Hey, this knowledge is going to keep you, man. It's going to preserve you. All the way up until Yahweh Shah cracks the uh, cracks open that sky, man, and, and to deliver the elect. And all we can do is pray to, to to be a part of that number, man. Right? It says, "Forsake her not, and she shall preserve thee. Love her, and she shall keep thee." Verse seven. It says, "Wisdom is the principal thing. Therefore, get wisdom, and with all thy getting, get understanding." Yeah, man. With all thy getting, get understanding. Right? Wisdom is the principal thing. Right. Not everything else is folly, man. You know, what, what, whatever you gain on this side is going to be destroyed, man. It's going to be burnt up by fervent heat. But wisdom, a hey, wisdom is is, is, is going to endure forever, man. Right. The word of the Lord will endure forever. You know, and, and it says, uh, therefore, get wisdom and with all thy getting get understanding you have to understand what you're what you're receiving man right the, the the holy spirit man you have to understand that hey this is not of men right the scriptures say if this work be of men it will come to naught but if this work be of the most high ye cannot overthrow it lest ye be happily to fight against the most high man this is of the lord man you got brothers out all over the world prophesying out of the holy scriptures man you know, so hey, this knowledge is not to be taken granted of uh, taken for granted. This is uh, Ecclesiastes, uh, Ecclesiasticus, chapter twenty four. I'm gonna start at verse seventeen. This is talking about wisdom. You know, it says, uh, "As the vine brought I forth pleasant savior, and my flowers are the fruit of honor and riches. I am the mother of fair love." And fear and knowledge and the holy and holy hope. I therefore being eternal am given to all my children, which are named of him. Come unto me, all ye that be desirous of me and fill yourselves with my fruits. 
for my memorial is sweeter than honey and my inheritance than the honeycomb. They that eat me shall yet be hungry and they that drink me shall yet be thirsty. He that obeyeth me shall never be confounded and they that work by me shall not do amiss. All these things are the book of the covenant of the most high power, even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance unto the congregations of Jacob. That's a hey, hey, that's plain, man. You know. So, hey, what? Uh, let me grab this real quick. Um, this is Ecclesiasticus. The 39th chapter. Right. Ecclesiasticus chapter 39, verse one, it says, but he that giveth his mind to the law of the most high and is occupied in the meditation thereof will seek out the wisdom of all the ancient and be occupied in prophecies. Exactly, man. The with uh, what is the wisdom of all the ancient man? Hey, it's, it's the law, statutes, commandments, you know, how, how, how else? Are you supposed to be set apart, man? If you're, if you, if you walk as a, a a heathen, you're a heathen, man. You know, but hey, when you study the law and you know the law, you you walk different, man. You know, it's like oh no, I don't do that, or no, I don't eat that, I don't celebrate that. You know, you 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 do opposite of what this world tells you is okay, man. You know. So let me go back to that. Uh, Ecclesi uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter 24, verse 23. It says, all these things are the book of the covenant of the most high power, even the law which Moses commanded for inheritance unto the congregation of Jacob. Right. Hey, that's that's our wisdom, man. You know, uh, I'm going to read on. It says, faint not to be strong in the Lord, that he may confirm you, cleave unto him. For the Lord Almighty is power alone, and besides him there is no other savior. And and and, and that, it says that in the book of Isaiah, man. You know? It says that also in the book of Isaiah. That he is the power. He is only yo, Yahweh, man. He is, you know. <laughs> there is no <laughs> there is nothing else. And he, he made his word um short. Let me get that real quick. And then I got one more after this, and I'm a close it out uh baruch the second chapter right verse one it says therefore the lord hath made good his word which he pronounced against us and against our judges that judged israel and against our kings and against our princes and against the men of israel and judah to bring upon us great plagues such as never had happened under the whole earth or under the whole heaven as it as it came to pass in jerusalem according to the things that are written in the law of Moses. Right. So the Lord himself, man, Yahweh, he put this on us, man, because of our iniquity, you know? So how, how is it hard for him to turn turn again our captivity, man? That's why that hey, that's a, a a a prayer that we must continually ask the Lord, man. We must continually beg Yahweh by Shimiah Shah to turn again our captivity, man. You know? Because he's the one that put us in this in this hell, man, for our for our disobedience. So we have to understand that, hey, this is all the Lord's doing, man. You know, wisdom, have, having the knowledge and, and understanding that 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 we have through these holy scriptures. Right. We know that. Hey, it's all just a matter of time before. You know, the Lord undo all of this, man, you know, but uh, this is the last script that I got. This is Deuteronomy chapter four, verse five, talking about the law, statutes, commandments, man. You know, it says, behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord, Yahweh, my power commanded me that ye should do so in the land where ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them, for this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Exactly, man. You don't need Esau's fucking college degree to be uh, 
deemed as as wise, man, or smart. You know, the wisdom of this world is foolishness to the most high, man. You know, because what what can you do? Uh, uh, what 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 can that piece of paper do for you during a day of destruction, man? You know, when all hell's breaking loose, you think you can carry around a, a high a high school diploma or or a, um a associates or a bachelor's or PhD or whatever? You think you can run around with that? No, oh, look, I'm I'm certified. You can't you can't mess with me. Don't do it. No, man, they're gonna whack you off. If they're hungry, they might gnaw on your on your elbows and. It's, and that's it, man. You know? But this knowledge, this wisdom, and this understanding of these holy scriptures, it can save you from, from death, man. You know? If you're a part of the elect. You know, that great multitude. Right? Verse 7, it says, For what nation is there so great, who hath the most high so nigh unto them, as the Lord Yahweh, our power, is in all things that we call upon him for? Exactly, man. And, and the scriptures say, um... In Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter, it says, because ye, ye serve not the Lord. Uh, let me just grab it because I don't want to butcher it. And that'll be the that'll be last one. You know, Deuteronomy, the 28th chapter. I think is. Saki, so bear with me. This is it right here. This is um, Deuteronomy 28 and uh, 47. It says, Because thou servest not the Lord thy God with joyfulness and with gladness of heart for the abundance of all things, therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies, which the Lord shall send against thee in hunger and in thirst and in nakedness and in want of all things. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck until he have destroyed thee. Exactly, man. Right, we we didn't serve the, the Lord with joyfulness and gladness of heart, man. Hey, the Lord set us up perfectly, man. He gave us the lands of, of all uh of Canaan, you know, and, and these other heathen nations, right? He gave us an inheritance, man. And we were in those lands. We were living good, man. That's why he said, uh, and and jerk Jersham uh waxed fat, right? But as we increased and multiply, we we uh we sinned against the Lord, man. Right. But now, um, uh, it, well, yeah, we sinned against the Lord and um, the book of Jeremiah says, thou even thyself shall discontinue from thine, thine heritage, man. You know, so the Lord is, is is has given us our heritage back, man, which is these scriptures. You know, why? Why do you think we weren't allowed to read the, the Bible when we were slaves, man, when we were oh, we're still slaves, but when we were um, in chains, right, iron. Back back in the cotton picking days, you know, even even after that, we weren't allowed to read these these scriptures, man. We weren't allowed to read the Holy, the Holy Bible because they knew that this was our book, you know. So uh, I'm in it there. You know, Lord willing, it was edifying and you know, faith boosting. With that, I want to say Shalom.